The strategic importance of a drone fleet, like the Predator drones, India plans to acquire, lies in their multifaceted utility in modern warfare and defense. Following the Galwan Valley clashes in 2020, the Indian Navy leased two MQ-9 UAVs, which have since completed 10,000 flight hours. India and the US have been negotiating the drone deal for over five years. The delay in the purchase of these UAVs was due to the emphasis on self-reliance in the defense sector and limitations imposed on imports. In addition, the Indian side is pushing for drone parts be manufactured in India, as part of Atma Nirbha Bharat policy. The drone deal got an impetus from growing Indo-US strategic relations, to keep Chinese aggression at check, in the Indo-Pacific region. The Predator UAVs, could potentially be used for close air support, precision strike and various other missions. There are key advantages in using armed drones in warfare. Drones are becoming increasingly important in modern warfare, this can be seen in Ukraine, Russia war and, Armenia, Azerbaijan war. Armed drones can strike at critical enemy targets from a safe distance. They can carry and deploy a range of weapons, thereby offering precise targeting capabilities. Border Security Drones can patrol vast stretches of borders in diverse terrains, providing constant surveillance. The maritime variant of the MQ-9 UAV, Sea Guardian, can patrol large oceanic areas for extensive periods, thereby helping India monitor its extensive coastline and maritime borders more effectively. India's neighbors, China and Pakistan, are both developing their own drone fleets. India needs to ensure that it has a strong drone fleet of its own, in order to maintain a balance of power in the region. In addition to Predator drones, India has many drones in development. Tapas BH. This is a medium-altitude long-endurance drone that is being developed by DRDO. It has a maximum altitude of 28,000 feet and an endurance of 18 hours. Tapas BH is designed for intelligence, surveillance, target acquisition, and reconnaissance ISTAR, missions. Archer NG. This is an armed drone that is being developed by the DRDO. It has a maximum altitude of 30,000 feet and an endurance of 18 hours. Archer NG is designed to carry a variety of weapons. Aura. This is a small tactical drone that is being developed by the DRDO. It has a maximum altitude of 15,000 feet and an endurance of 3 hours. Aura is designed for surveillance and reconnaissance missions. These are just a few of the many drones that are currently in development in India. The Indian drone industry is growing rapidly, and it is expected to continue to grow in the coming years. Along with Predator drones, India has planned to create a formidable drone fleet, which consists of drones of varying capacity and technology. Thus creating a hybrid drone fleet compared to China or Pakistan. The purchase of the MQ-9 drone is a good step, but it is not enough to address India's security needs. India also needs to acquire more air defense systems and fighter jets in order to protect itself from attack. Thanks for watching.